welcome back to Seat the Table, guys. Today's video is house focused because we have drywall. So they have fish. Dude, really? What? Yep, they're having fun. What is this? This is our deck. I don't know if you guys have officially seen the decks. I think maybe. We have our decks. <laughs> we don't have railing yet or stairs because we have to do the siding still. So. But that's this week. Maybe not. Uh, you guys saw that we have windows and soon after we ended up getting drywall. So the painter, it's not painted, it's not mudded and taped yet. They are doing that probably tomorrow, um, so very soon. So they just got all the drywall up, but now's where it like really starts looking like a house. We're gonna take you guys inside and show you it. So originally in the floor plan, when you walked in, you had a dining room over here and then you had like a formal living room on this side. Um, and we decided to change that up. So we closed off both of these walls. There was already a closet, so this was here. And eventually- uh, not, not quite. This closet was actually yes, was right here. It was out of the entryway, which I found kind of odd. Yeah. Um, so I, I like this setup better. And then we're gonna like do some kind of bench seating or something with like hooks or something. I, it could change, who knows really. Um, then, yay, living room and kitchen. So here's the living room. So many windows. Lots and lots of windows. Um, so there's not really much in the living room. It's a big wall. But turn the corner, what was the formal living room, we changed into a playroom. We were gonna do a homeschool room, but now that we're pretty much primarily unschooling, we're gonna have these two sections behind the French doors for unschooling materials um, that just kind of encourage them to learn during the day. And probably the rest of them is really going to be reserved for nugget builds. <laughs> like just open-ended play. We do have some stuff they're getting for Christmas that might go in here. Um, it's going to be a very open-ended play encouraged room. So then walking through here, we have Aerie's room. So Aerie has the view of the horse pasture once Aunt yeah, Grayson's gone. Uh, closet, egg, and tree. That's where the that HVAC is. Yeah, and then this is the kids bathroom. They have a huge linen closet. And then in this room is Freddie's room. But she was a little bit bummed about not being able to see the horses. Um, but she's excited to see the cows. There's Grayson being in the yard. Um, but now that the chickens are in the backyard, it's kind of perfect because she's like definitely become the chicken child. <laughs> so she gets a view of all of her chickens and here gets a view of the horses, which is kind of what she prefers still it seems. So, nine foot ceilings throughout the entire house, it's glorious. Yeah, that's something we were really excited about with getting one floor and doing a ranch with that all of a sudden we talk. So, this is the kitchen. Right here is going to be like the 10 foot island. I think we should have told you guys about that. Nine feet. Nine feet? Yep. I think it's like nine and a half. Yeah, I think it's nine it's feet. It's like a nine and a half foot island by three feet? Four feet. Three feet. Three and a half? Three and a half, maybe. Three. I don't know. <laughs> um, and this is the dining area. So originally there was the dining room, which we'll show you what we turn that into in a minute. Um, but this is big enough. Like this is yeah, a good sized nice. dining space. And I've always thought that like having the extra dining room Waste. is pointless, wasteless, wasteless. It usually ends up like a drop zone. So we're gonna actually do built-in seating and have like a really big table and then have maybe the bench we made over here probably or the bench will go with a piano. Which would probably be a good idea to get like some chairs for this side. The bench and then put the bench with the piano. <coughs> Indeed. Um, and this wall will be like obviously the main kitchen wall. So in the middle here is the range with the oven and then cabinets on either side with two smaller, I think they're like 15 inch wide cabinets and then we have six floating shelves, so three on either side. Um, so we have a lot of lower cabinet space but we're not going to have a lot of upper cabinet space um, which was purposeful. So. This is the wall that I'm real excited about. They have an extra piece of drywall here, but our fridge is going here, um, which we sized perfectly height-wise to our fridge. Once we picked our fridge, we actually had them lower it because we had chosen originally a taller fridge, and then we ended up getting our dream fridge, my dream fridge. And then uh, we had to lower it a good bit, or it would have been like over a foot above it. It would have been kind of yeah. weird. So. And then this is the walk-in pantry. We're, we're going to have to do some sort of decoration or something yes. up there 
Because otherwise it just looks kind of funny. You got this tall one and this short one over here. I don't think it'll look weird once the, like... Once everything's right. in, yeah, probably. So not. originally this was, um, the fridge was over on this wall and there was less like countertop space on that side. And then this was like a double door pantry that was shallow, so it wasn't like a walk-in. Um, so we moved the wall back a bit into that dining room and turned this into a walk-in pantry. And instead of having that really annoying space that is above fridges, like traditionally when we asked to put it here, they would put the two um, cabinets above the fridge that are kind of set back a bit that are really annoying and no one ever uses. And they don't go to the ceiling because typically they don't, cabinets don't. Um, and so instead I asked them to close that off and open it up into the pantry. So now our pantry has a huge additional storage space in here. We will probably add another shelf in there. Um, and if we have enough flooring, I'm gonna have them put flooring on here. So it's a little bit easier to keep clean, but um, I'm really excited about that. I don't know if we're gonna keep bulk storage in there or um, like crock pots and things, but we are gonna do some kind of ladder situation here <laughs> to be able to get stuff down. And then this is just gonna be wire shelving for now, but long term we are gonna put in actual cabinets uh, which is why we had them put a counter height receptacle in here so that we had like we we're thinking of probably always keeping our dehydrator in here just because it does make a low hum and it's on for hours so we thought this yeah, would just be a keep good it place all the way. to keep it yeah and so. shout out to the electrician yeah he was smart enough to just put that on its own uh on its own breaker yeah totally. so that is uh, i think a 20 20 amp on its own breaker so totally it's not going to impact anything else which is awesome Awesome. So this is originally an entrance to the dining room, which when you walk in here, when Ryan walks in, the wall would have been just flat here. So yeah, like this, this would have been straight all would the have way. been part of the dining room, and then the dining room would open. So instead, we made it a small, technically it's classified as like an office because there's no closet, um, but we're making it into a small bedroom for Rensley. So it's plenty big enough. It's bigger than I think Ryan's room moving yes. up. It is bigger than the room that I grew up in, so. Yeah, I think it's, it's like 11 by nine good. or something like that. It's really yeah. not a bad size um, at all. So she's gonna enjoy the space. I also like that she's like right um, closer to us, her being the youngest and her still not sleeping through the night. So. Yeah. <laughs> Here's the garage. Beautiful, beautiful, very, very awesome. high. So we're gonna do some kind of uh, storage, hanging storage or something. Oh, interesting. What? Those walls are different colors. Oh, yeah, yeah. These yeah. are different colors. This is the one thing I didn't get in my house, which was I really wanted a laundry room with a window, which I had in our last house and the blinds were always closed. So really, it doesn't matter. And I don't do laundry, Ryan does. <laughs> mm -hmm. I just always like the look of like bright laundry rooms. Well, you know what we can do eventually? Huh. I've had ideas for years about um, fiber optic lighting. So basically it's kind of like a solar panel that you put on your roof, but instead of capturing that sunlight and turning it into energy, it actually is captured into fiber optic cables, which are run through like the house. And then you can actually get, uh, get lights that will actually disperse that sunlight in a room that does not naturally have sunlight. So you can get true sunlight within your house by using uh, this method. And so, that would be really awesome to do. That would be cool. But this is the laundry room. Because of all the modifications we made in our master, we ended up getting a closet here, which is actually what we're going to use for our, I'm gonna say family closet, but it's gonna be the kids closet. Uh, as you guys know, if you watch my channel or our vlog channel, our kids don't keep their clothes in their um, rooms, at least not yet, uh, especially because Rev and Ari still share some clothes. So all the clothes will be in there. And this is a half bath. Part of me wishes that this had been switched. It was in the original plans. Yes. And then when we switched stuff, he for some reason swapped it. But I also think it's okay, because at least for me as a guest, when I'm using, because this will be the guest bathroom. This is the bathroom when people come over, this is what they're gonna use. Um, when I'm a guest and I'm going to the bathroom, I hate when I feel like people can hear me peeing. Like I really don't like it. <laughs> and so the fact that this is like a little bit offset and back a bit gives guests a little bit more privacy. So I feel like that's kind of nice. I just have to make sure my room's clean and the door's closed. Cause my room's right here, so our room. Master bedroom, right here. I don't know like how we're gonna be doing this room. Obviously the bed is going here. That's about all I know. Otherwise we've made no decisions. The piano's probably gotta go in this room somewhere. Yeah, over there. probably over there. Well, this is gonna be a barn room though, so. Right, 
Yeah. It'll be moved over. Yeah. We'll see. So anyways, here's Ryan's little office nook. Very sunny. Which he's gonna very love. bright. Very, very So he's going to have his desk here. And, uh, yeah. And you shouldn't be bothered by any glares. It's tall enough. You're lower, you I mean, go, with all yeah, hell of shade. obviously I'm shade. And one of the things I did last night, we can't see right now, but right below us is a big old roll of uh, fiber optic cable yes. to pull up for our internet. I was thinking about how great it would have been if I would have pulled the fiber in under the house earlier and actually pulled it up through and set it in this box here. Um, that way we wouldn't have to do any drilling or anything after the fact. But of course, I didn't think about that. All right, last room of the house is our master closet. There is not a master bedroom. What? Master bathroom and closet, that word. <laughs> There's not gonna be a door on this because we're doing a barn door and we decided to do it after because it costs way more to do it through them. Um, no, they didn't even have the option. Yeah, they did. I think they did. Ryan said they didn't. Oh, they did? No. Oh, okay. So they didn't have an option to do a barn door, but they did put the, um, the blocking. The so blocking there's, in, so there's yeah. solid that pieces goes, like, all, all the way, way down here. here. So, so that when we put in the hardware, it's there to hold the weight. Um, so we're gonna do that after we close. But so we're doing that. And then you want to put in there's linen closet here, and then there's a big master closet, um, which is very dark. So, so this right here is our shower obviously we are doing a door so it's not going to be a rod it'll be a door with black hardware all of our hardware is black which i'm really excited to see what that looks like with like that in particular um then what else double seats but i don't know what i'm doing here i'm thinking like maybe we'll put a full length mirror here when you come out of the closet and you get dressed you can look it'd be better to do it right here well you're blocking the sunlight there though and I don't want to see, oh, so I can stare at myself in the mirror while I pee. I see, joke. <laughs> so that's it, that's our house tour. A couple things we get asked a lot is like what the square footage of it is. I think it's 2100. 2, um, technically it's a three bed, two and a half bath, but then we made that one that's like an office. So it's a three bedroom, but it's a three bedroom with the little office, which we're using as a bedroom, and also an additional like playroom, office, whatever you want to make it. Um, so we did a lot of modifications with ours. Um, our builder has like set floor plans, but then they allow like heavy modifications. Like you can change things, you can push out walls. Like if we wanted to push out the entire kitchen wall and living room and add like four feet to that space, we could have done that. Um, it would have been pricey, but we yeah, could have done it. Yeah, it would have been very pricey, but you can do that. Like they allow a lot of modifications. Like the space above the fridge, like that is a very custom, type of thing that we asked them to do and they had no issue with that so um, yeah we really appreciate that especially because like you you just kind of start with their basis of a floor plan and that helps keep their prices lower but then you can still do customization you just have to pay a little bit more for it so and we've got this beautiful deck that dogs love playing on so that's going to be it for this video hope you guys enjoyed it um, and again super blessed to be able to be building this house uh, to what we actually want and what is going to suit our family um, and we just can't wait to be in here and with that we will see you guys next time Nine feet. Nine feet? Yep. I think it's like nine and a half. Yeah, I think it's nine feet. It's like feet. a nine and a half foot island by three feet? Four feet. Three feet. Three and a half? Three and a half, maybe. Yeah. I don't know. I think it's three and a half. I don't know. <laughs> um, and then this is the dining area. So originally there was the dining room, which we'll show you what we turned that into in a minute. Um, but this is big enough. Like this is yeah, a this good is. size dining space. And I've always thought that like having the extra dining room was just pointless, waste, wasteless. wasteless. It usually ends up like a drop zone. So we're gonna actually do built-in seating and have like a really big table and then have maybe the bench we made over here probably or the bench will go with our piano. Yeah. Actually that would probably be a good idea to get like some chairs for this side, the bench and then put the bench with the piano. <coughs> Indeed. Um, then this wall will be like obviously the main kitchen wall. So in the middle here is the range with the oven and then cabinet.
cabinets on either side with two smaller, I think they're like 15 inch wide cabinets, and then we have six floating shelves, so three on either side. Um, so we have a lot of lower cabinet space, but we're not going to have a lot of upper cabinet space, um, which was purposeful. So this is the wall I'm real excited about. They have an extra piece of drywall here, but our fridge is going here. Um, which we sized perfectly height-wise to our fridge. Once we picked our fridge, we actually had them lower it because we had chosen originally a taller fridge and then we ended up getting our dream fridge, my dream fridge. And then uh, we had to lower it a good bit or it would have been like over a foot above it. It would have been kind of yeah. weird. So. And then this is the walk-in pantry. We're, we're going to have to do some sort of decoration or yeah, something, something up there. Because otherwise it just looks kind of funny. You got this tall one and this short one over here. I don't think it'll look weird once the, like... Once the everything's room. in, yeah, probably. So originally this was, um, the fridge was over on this wall. And there was less, like, countertop space on that side. And then this was, like, a double door pantry that was shallow. So it wasn't, like, a walk-in. Um, so we moved the wall back a bit into that dining room. And turned this into a walk-in pantry. And then instead of having that really annoying space that is above fridges. Like traditionally, when we asked to put it here, they would put the two um, cabinets above the fridge that are kind of set back a bit, that are really annoying and no one ever uses. And they don't go to the ceiling because typically they don't, cabinets don't. Um, and so instead, I asked them to close that off and open it up into the pantry. So now our pantry has a huge additional storage space in here. We will probably add another shelf in there. Um, and if we have enough flooring, I'm going to have them put flooring on here so it's a little bit easier to keep clean, but um, I'm really excited about that. I don't know if we're going to keep bulk storage in there or um, like crock pots and things, but we are going to do some kind of ladder situation here <laughs> to be able to get stuff down. And then this is just going to be wire shelving for now, but long term we are going to put in actual cabinets, uh, which is why we had them put a counter height receptacle in here so that we had like, we're thinking of probably always keeping our dehydrator in here. Just because it does make a low hum and it's on for hours. So we thought yeah, this room yeah, would be a good place to keep it. Yeah. And 